and I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. And today we are talking about Lake Mead and Lake Powell. Lord Almighty, they are in trouble. We are going to go over and check out the water levels. We're going to check out the weather forecast to see if anything has changed. We're going to check out the snowpack in the Rockies. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and we'll be right back. Stick around. And I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. We're going to get right into it. First, we're going to talk about Lake Powell as I want to show you a before and after. This is last year at this time. Look how full the lake kind of looks compared to this. That is just insane. I can't believe that the water has dropped that much. You may be asking yourself, well, how much did that lake drop? Well, we're going to find that out right now. So let's go over there and check that out. As we roll over to Lake Powell now, we're going to check out the water level. And you can check this out yourself at Powell, P-O-W-E-L-L dot U-S lakes.info backslash level backslash the current water level is at 3561.67 feet and the level is 138.33 feet below full pool of 3700 feet so the full pool at lake powell is 3700 feet and it's clearly 138 feet below full pool now you can see the decline is incredible. Last year at this time it was at 3,599 and now it's at 3,574 feet and it's dropping dramatically. It was way higher last year by 25 foot more or less. So the water level has dropped quite a bit and it's kind of like a V. As shown here in this diagram, this is the water level last year and then the water level drops like that and that's how you have it and it'll get less and less as time goes on and it could potentially just keep dropping and dropping like it's shown here. Now we're going to go to Lake Mead and check out the water level over there and see what's going on at Lake Mead. So we roll over to this mead.uslakes.info backslash level dot ASP. Last year we were thinking around March 28th or so I did a video and I was thinking that it could get to 1100 feet now clearly that did not happen in 19 it started rising around November and you could see the difference between 20 and 21 it started rising dramatically in 2020 and it just it just kept rising up until April or so like it generally does now you got to remember last year where there was a lot more water in Lake Powell so they released quite a bit more but this year they were under a drought and they didn't release as much. Now look at this it's just been on a downhill spiral since about March 28th and it just completely dropped and it's dang near 20 foot difference between last year at this time and now it's just incredible and you guys got to realize that once it reaches 1,075 feet, a water of decoration is declared. Once that is declared, we have big problems as there's going to be cutbacks for everybody involved. And Arizona is going to get the worst end of the deal from my understanding. Now let's go check out the maps and see what's going on there with windy.com and see if there's any good snow, any rain, anything. Without further ado, let's roll over there and check that out. We're going to roll over here to windy.com. Lake Mead is down here. Lake Powell's up here. Colorado's over here. This is the Colorado Basin right here. Comes in. They got three main branches. This river, Colorado, and this branch down here. Lake Powell's down here. It is completely drying up as well. Look at, uh, look at the temperatures right now, 91 degrees, 97 degrees in Vegas. So it's hot out there in the desert already. This is Lake Mead, it's just to the east of Las Vegas, Las Vegas being right here. We're gonna go the next 24 hours and see what goes on, nothing. Next three days, very little. You're getting just a smidgen of precipitation. Any precipitation's good, but we need a lot more than that. We go to the next five, half inch, not great, but better than nothing. We'll take it in the next 10 days. Yeah, not a whole lot. So once again, this Wyoming up here continues to be 
fairly wet. Let's go check out the snow depth. The snow depth right now is shrinking considerably, only 36, it's less than 3 feet. And then we come up here, 41 inches. This was incredible over the over the winter, but it's really dropped down quite a bit. They are expecting major water shortages at Lake Powell, Lake Mead. Let's go over and check out GFS and see if it's showing anything better than this. Now this is the GFS. We're gonna go to the next 12 and see if anything's different. 24, three days, Colorado. Once again, not much, about the same. Next five, about the same. Next 10, less. And they were calling for a little bit more up here and it's just to the east of that. It was just a little bit more than what they were calling for, so almost an inch there. But look over here, not a drop to be found. And if you zoom out, you can see that there's a high pressure here. Bad, if you're on Lake Orville, it's, it's terrible too. The next 10 days at Lake Orville, you got very little. I don't even think that hits Lake Orville. Lake Orville starts here, goes way up here not much so this is incredibly terrible news for everybody involved all the way from california nevada utah arizona the colorados you guys are in for a world of hurt this summer it's not going to be pleasant if you guys are planning on going to the lake they say many many ramps have been closed because of low water you guys be careful if you guys are boaters and you guys are tuning in to go boating i love to boat i love water and it's just incredible that there's not going to be no water. And if you are boating, just be vigilant of changes in the lake because you just never know when you're going to run aground and it's not a good situation. If you have been on that lake for years, you guys still may run aground because you don't know what the depth is underneath unless you have sonar and you are very aware of the undergrounding surroundings around you. It can clearly pop up out of nowhere and your boat could be ruined even if you have like a 30 or 40,000, maybe even 50, 60 or $100,000 boat or higher even. There's people that have houseboats out there on Lake Mead and Lake Powell and it's gonna be very dangerous this summer. So I can't stress it enough, be very, very careful. And let's just hope that May turns into some really good rain like it did in 83 and produces more rain than what we need. but. We'll take anything we can get right now. We're not getting none. And it's just bad, bad news. So let's just hope for the best, y'all. And that's all I have for tonight. God bless and peace and stay vigilant.